Hello, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dian Pramita Utami. My student number is 019. I am currently studying English Literature at Universitas Erlangga, and today I will be presenting about the result of my article review. I choose to be focused on a literature article titled Susan Glasspell's Trifles in the Light of Ecofeminism, which was written by Elmira Basrekarzadeh. The author was a um, Master of Arts student of English Language and Literature of Islamic Azad University in Iran. To begin with, this article was published in June 2019 on a scholarly journal named Kata, particularly in volume 21, first issue, page 10 to 16, and I, I accessed this article through ProQuest library database on Monday, 26 April 2021. The author begins her article by providing the plot summary of Susan Glasspell's Trifles. The author noticed that this play, even though it was being published in 1916, remains relevant to nowadays. The author realized that woman oppression is an unsolved issue which is perpetuated in patriarchal society. There are three importance of this study. First, the author believed that ecofeminism should could be used as a new critical approach to various works of art due to its flexibility. This argument is supported by a fact claim by Warren in 2002, which stated that ecofeminism is about interconnections among all systems of unjustified human domination. Second, the author could not find any studies of Susan Glasspell's trifles that have been written based on ecofeminism examination. Most of the conducted researches are focused on feminist issues, which creates the tendency of the reader to become unaware of the interdependency between women and nature. Third, the author wants to provide a reliable reference that is specifically explained the link between women, nature, and oppression in hope that it could be used in the future examination of Susan Glasspell's work. The objective of this study is to examine the play from an ecofeminist perspective by concentrating on the interconnection between environmentalism and feminism, which will prove that discrimination and oppression of gender and class are linked um, to the exploitation and destruction of nature. This study is a qualitative ethnography research which is very suitable because this method is less controlled and more open to various interpretation. The author used the lens of ecofeminism to analyze and interpret Susan Glasspell's trifle. To approach the objective of this study, the other primary data gained by collecting instances and quotations from the key thinkers of ecofeminists in general, and more specifically from Sandiland and Gard as its major theories. The article is coherent and descriptive. The language used is formal, with the touch of advanced vocabulary. It is very common in um, scholarly article and the reviewer found no grammar mistakes. The author mostly used compound and complex sentence in delivering ideas. And the discussions begins with the author comparing the ecofeminism and feminism. The author is talking of 
the other is taking a full stance on ecofeminism and it could be seen through the other explanation on ecofeminism superiority and the other critics liberal feminism's obsession on collaborative relations between men and women in the shattered notion of power dynamic and she also stated that ecofeminism is the most suitable approach for analyzing trifles because it has strong emphasis upon definitions of masculinity which deny, ignore, and attempt to suppress the value of feminine. Still in the discussions section, the author succeed to find that the story is in line with ecofeminism value. And the author emphasized the male character's domination habit significantly changed the mental and physical conditions of female characters and nature, which further put the women into a dilemma, humiliation, and regenerated insecurities. The domestication of women also found it as one of the characteristics of a male-dominated society that is always interconnected with the nature. The bird-killing action in the story that becomes the motives of the murder is seen as a symbolism of an anti-ecofeminist action, which then being balanced by Susan Glasspels by um, the ecofeminist through the murder of Mr. Wright and the ladies hiding the evidence of the murder. The result of this study is the identification of the inherent ecofeminist issue is laying on the heart of the story that is written by Susan Glasspels. A deep analysis raises certain questions dealing with the oppressions of women and nature that is done by men. The patriarchal atmosphere sees women as an unequal and inferior creature who is neglected and in charge for domestic roles only. The conclusion of this article is Trifles by Susan Glasspell is an attempt to liberate the tyrannized women and the ecofeminism perspective that is used in this study succeed in revealing a fact that human being is neither a master nor slave to nature, but simply one part of an intricate system. The choice of ecofeminism was the author's effort to show the unified goal of feminism and ecofeminism in liberating women and nature from the, from the oppression that is done by men. So after hearing my review in article titled Susan Glasspell's Trifles in the Light of Ecofeminism, I would like to deliver my overall statement. To sum up, this article is highly recommended for English literature student who has a deep focus on literature and feminism. It is clear, very detailed, coherent, up-to-date, and reliable. The author achieved the objective of the study by proving that the dialogue and mental background of the story was suited and in line with ecofeminism values rather than um, liberal feminism values. In my opinion, this article will bring a significant change for ecofeminism approach in the future, especially on how it will be used as a specific approach in analyzing literature through feminism perspective. I think that is all I can say about my article review. You can drop your questions on the e-learning forum. Thank you. Have a nice day.